Um, your your rehab has been going, and and your um your shoulders feeling good. I take it. Yeah, my shoulders been feeling uh, very good last. I say November, mm -hmm. and each day, you know, it's been kind of a progress. I haven't really been playing that well, mm -hmm. but uh, the last I'd say two weeks, um, I feel like I've gotten back to what I was playing in the summer. Yeah. So no yeah. discomfort or anything. No. Or no. Serving as hard as you did in that yeah. day against me uh, out there on the outdoor <laughs> courts. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty hard. Yeah. So. I was not pumping like that, but a little. Bit. <laughs> So um, what about this season, man? Um, are you guys, I, I know the indoor season's still going on, but kind of looking ahead to the outdoor season, I mean, are you guys getting pretty excited with the, with the lineup you're going to be able to throw out there? Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, I feel like for the team, I feel like um, the season hasn't really started because it was just USF is like outdoor on clay, neutral site, and I really feel like a mm -hmm. college match. I feel like this uh, this Friday is going to be a lot of fun, and uh, definitely looking forward to the indoors. I've heard a lot of good things about that, like the uh, indoors played here. I feel like it gets uh, absolutely crazy. So. Yeah, it gets loud and <laughs> yeah. stuff. What do you know about like the teams this weekend? I mean, who are the guys you, you think you might run into uh, in, in singles? I'm actually not that sure. I know there's a lot of turnover on both all three of those teams. I know a lot of the guys that graduated. Um, mm -hmm. I really haven't been keeping up. With, uh, with the lineups so far. So. How much does like winning the NCAA title, looking ahead to that, drive this team? You know, you know, throughout you know rehabs and injuries and perseverance is always in the back of your mind. You know, yeah. doing well on that. Yeah, you know? definitely. You know, I mean, we've all obviously done really well from this point until you know end of May ish. Around yeah. that, you know, yeah. so the goal yeah. is obviously to uh, to do well come that time. You know, I think our training has been a little bit different. Just going to Florida, I think that helped us a lot in terms of getting fitter, playing long, longer points, and just kind of being as a team for three straight weeks, and I think it helps a lot. You feel like maybe it's better that you're not number one from, you know, wire to wire, and maybe you lie in the weeds a little bit, so to speak, and, and peak at the right time, because it seems like every other year it's been, you guys have been number one and everybody's been chasing you. Do you think that takes any of the pressure off a little bit? I think or? it could. I mean, I think <laughs> USC is definitely the favorites, I mean, without a doubt. Just because you know they haven't really lost many people and they've added a couple of players that supposedly are pretty good. I haven't seen them, but uh, mm -hmm. you know I think if we uh, we just gotta you know I think the focus has to be kind of I don't know, I don't really want to say it, but I think we have to we have to be able to, to think that we can beat them. You know, and um, last season I don't think we really believed that. So I think if we um, if we come together, come together as a team, I think we can definitely pull it off. You're top three, right? Pretty, pretty tough with you yeah, and, I mean, and Mitchell and Shamir. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, what's what's it like having Mitchell on the team this year? I mean, he brings a lot of um, dedication to the team. You know, yeah. I mean, if you come out here at like seven, eight o'clock at night, you'll probably see him play. So, uh, wow. yeah, he's definitely been a, a good influence, no doubt. Will this year be defined, do you think, by whether you can win the NCAA title or? Probably, yeah. I mean, I probably, I don't think our coach would have missed <laughs> Yeah. But I mean, like, yeah. you know, you think of last season, you think of losing in the final. Yeah. You know. How tough was that after, after I that mean, USC? It was very tough. You know, yeah. I mean, it, it affected all of us in the singles tournament, you know. I, can, I, can, I mean, I, I, from watching and from playing, you know, I mean, it was dejecting, you know. You play the next day, you know, like, I mean, because we played so well the whole year, and then you come out, and you lose a heartbreaker like that, it's... It's pretty rough. Would you like to see USC maybe in the indoors here? And yeah, I mean, I think it could only help. You yeah. know, I mean, because we, uh, you just read about them, hear about them, and you play in the last match or second to last match of the year. And uh -huh. It's kind of like you almost build them up to you too much in your mind. So if we can, we can see them play and play against them, I think it would take a little bit of the fear factor out of it. Your game this year, anything you've added or you, you worked on in particular? Or? Just being more disciplined with how I play. You know, I obviously take a lot of chances, but I think being more intelligent with how I take them and um, not necessarily pulling the trigger so early. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, just, just being healthy, getting out there playing, you know, it's, it's pretty fun. <laughs> and your UVA experience, still enjoying the college thing yeah. and thinking about staying for more than a couple of years or did you year by year I, I'm thing? Open. Yeah. I'm open. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Awesome, man. Right well, thank you for taking the time right, to chat with me, man. I appreciate, appreciate it. it.